Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Today, I'm joined by Brack from Brack Hey. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Raiden's a nine. <laughs> How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's start with Ben. My week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. Okay, Tuesday. I only went to Tuesday this week, so I remember. Ah, ah yes. And I, I played... mean, you were there today, but... Ah, I just kind of showed up to say hello and then left. It's a great day. It's a great place. Walked in, ate a cookie in front of us, didn't <laughs> offer any, yeah. and then left. Uh, you forgot the part <laughs> where I got my my drink off Rukusu. Thanks, Rukusu. He also got me some dice. Cool dice. Thanks, Rukusu. Little snake eyes dice. Oh, yeah. cute. A little memento for a week's time. <laughs> no, no, snake eyes, not memento. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, went on Tuesday. I played, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Mimigal. Uh Went well. Like, mm. went surprisingly well. Um, so, I did lose all but one die roll. Um, which did mean I, wo- I lost two of my matches. Because uh, that deck does really struggle going second off the roll if you don't open multiple hand traps. One's just not enough. Um, so, yeah, it was pretty rough in those instances. Um, but I won every game two. Um, which I thought was was quite good. And then, yeah, the game threes were just kind of where it was up to. Um, did weirdly, against Caleb, you made me go first in round four. Game two, he's like, you can go first. And I'm like, you're playing FTK. Why am I going first? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, managed to, to clean it up. Um, but yeah, overall, I had a pretty fun Locals. I approached Locals with the mindset of just playing a fun deck and having a good time. And I played a fun deck, and I had a good time. There was a new guy from New Zealand. I, f- uh, I do yeah. apologise, I've forgotten your name. But, no, it was Marvin. Marvin, if you ever happen to catch this, welcome. Um, although, I'd, I'm fairly sure he's going home, so it's probably the only time he was coming in. <laughs> Hello, um, and goodbye. There was talk that he could come in today. He did not come in today. Um, but, yeah, it was a good Locals. It was a good little Tuesday night. We did not record any content from it because the ban list is imminent, and the ban list did not Everything come. that's happening um, is irrelevant. <laughs> Yeah, so I now have to still record another week of content next week, which will then extend out the leeway of uh, content that is on the backlog. Uh, meaning oh, you this didn't record Tuesday, any Edison, did you? I didn't record any Edison. Um, I am going to go out of my way to just record, like, air quotes, rogue matchups on Tuesday, um, just to try and break things up. So we'll try and get some originality into the content. I will play Mimigal on stream. If you want to do an Edison, I'll do an Edison with you this week. Ah, uh, that's fine. It's fine. I didn't record the Edison Locals because of how busy it was on a Saturday. Yep. Yeah. Brack. But that was my week in year. You year. That, the Water and Wind Festival in last year. Also, <laughs> f- firstly, before I get to that, it's lovely to see you both. Lovely to be here, visually. Uh, mm. I just wasn't going to address that. Don't don't speak too soon. <laughs> we haven't got to the end of this. We don't know. I yet. haven't checked if that's working this week. <laughs> Granted, we did bypass the thing that wasn't working. Thanks, yes. six five six. Thank you. Otherwise, six five six noticed the side gags. No one else did. I see. Yeah. I mean, I did tell everyone at all. Well, time. I mean, at absolute most, he noticed the inference of side gags. He did not see them. Jake didn't watch the podcast. He didn't. Hmm? No, I listened in the car. I very there was a lot of sight it. gags still actually there. Tom's pulls were terrible. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, they were. Otherwise, ah, uh, yeah, water and wind. Shit, I hate it. Like, I'm, I don't have the patience for any more gems. I did a couple. I'm like, nah, this is ass. It's, uh, it's yeah. this exact moment I'm questioning why didn't we screen cap one of us playing fucking Temple Run and put that in the bottom corner? Look, the Temple Run download was taking too long. Okay. I didn't want to get the rice right for <laughs> Okay. Okay. I also consider screen recording me playing Minecraft for a bit. Subway Surfer. Yeah, there's a few. There's a few ideas. Could have done some five minute hacks as well. Put those in. Yeah. That's uh, how we need to get the kids on TikTok. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Otherwise, didn't play any cardboard for Yu-Gi-Oh this week. And that's a shame. Is it a shame? But Monica's just, yeah, not there. And I can't play Snake Eyes. Can't play anything else. Band list is coming. When's the next Edison Locals? Tom? I was going to ask when the plan is to do another one. We don't every month, aren't we? Yeah. We want to try monthly. But we haven't designated yeah. the day of next month. 
Mm. Okay. And it is soon to be next month. We'll need to set that date. Ah. Uh, my week. Um, so coming off my um, very fluky but very much appreciated win at the OTS, um, still playing the Unchained Fiendsmith. Uh, but in both of the uh, rounds this week, I've lost two. So what's still two beast. round locals? No, three. Because we had you lost a... round two? Hmm? Yeah, lost I lost round two? round two and because it was double draws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the <laughs> three matchups, two of them were draws. Why can't you people win in time? <laughs> Well, no one plays time cards for locals. No one plays Valmonica. Half of them are playing Fiendsmith. They absolutely play time cards. Shifter. That is all. Uh, yeah, and then the other thing is too, of the six of us that were there, I think three or four of them were playing Shifter and I versed all of them. <laughs> versed Billy. Admittedly against Billy, um, I never had to deal with Shifter because uh, yep. I had call by. Um, I think I also had call by for Lucas. Yep. Uh, and I don't think it came up against Harry, but Ritual Beast just has so much fucking go. And by the time that, like, your no cards are active, they have a no card to your no card. So the contact fuse, the new contact fuse stops you from targeting anything that isn't itself. Yep. And the link four stops you from tributing. Okay. So if you wait for them to build full board, you can't Nibiru because you can't tribute and you can't target the link to negate the effect to stop you from tributing because you have to target the other one. Okay. Okay, sure. So yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Ritual Beast one of things, so yeah, address it somehow. However that is. I don't know how that is, but do it's it. It's Shifter, but at the same time, what if they don't ban Shifter? Yeah. We're banlist, man. Yeah, it we're banlist. It actually has to drop this week. And yeah. that's the annoying part. I would have just rather already had it last week. Yeah. I mean, I did put up a little bit of a poll in the Discord. Uh, thank you to the nine of you who voted. Uh, the consensus, or the rather the biggest uh, votes of 33% was for tomorrow at some point, Monday the 26th. Uh, second most was that Konami lied. <laughs> 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 We're doing this tomorrow. All right, we're going to have two episodes tomorrow if there's a yeah. ban list tonight. Yeah, I'll leave the setup out. And if the ban list drops, we're recording. And then I'll come back. You can sleep on the couch if you want. I haven't brought a change of clothes. I'm not coming to work in so this. I'm going to bum around <laughs> this house all week waiting for the ban list to drop. I mean, just, I'm I, not a, I mean, just if, just if it drops Logan's tonight. <laughs> Oh, God. Um, and then, yeah, Master Duel, I was very much in the same boat. Um, as much as I would love to go in there um, What'd you settle for the. Hmm? What would you settle on? To play, yeah. uh, Speed Road Wind Witches, because yeah. I already yeah. had it. I didn't want to craft anything new. Yeah. Um, like, I had gotten to, like, a fairly substantial point. I think I'd gotten the uh, Harpy, Cyber Harpy Lady icon and a little bit further beyond. That's pretty substantial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, it's the Ice Barrier is just so fucking annoying. Yep, and I'm not crafting them. Yeah, that, yeah same boat. Screw you, Kurt. <laughs> um, yeah, being able to just tutor out, like, specific floodgates to fuck up whatever matchup you're in is really annoying mm. and it just seems to keep going and then i was in ladder last night and someone was playing it at ladder i'm like no <laughs> you're not supposed to be here get out <laughs> well you could have just did you win uh, yeah because yeah, i wasn't yeah, i wasn't limited yeah, to like, shitty wind cards if you still lost that would be the concern yeah no i still won although i had to play some ridiculous lines to get there because it had um both of the level 10s the mm. um ice jade and the other thing mm. and i think the only reason i did win is because he screwed up his chain links when i got rid of the um ice barrier one he chained it so that um the summon like the spatch the synchro that isn't technically a synchro but it is a synchro uh missed the timing so he didn't get the trish banish <laughs> Well, that, did they surrender right there? No. Well, you're playing wrong then. But yeah, I was, um, yeah, stressed out by that. But yeah, that is fun. Um, I've been switching between Hawkist and Unchained. Yeah. Speaking of fucking Ice Barrier, the world's ban list is out. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> so, um, no huge surprises. Um, I mean, 
Internet Forbidden is a little bit of a surprise. Yeah, the, yeah. that's probably um, the only thing that did uh, catch most people off guard is the fact that info is actually included rather than excluded. Normally it's everything up to instead of and including. Yeah, but also it being in September, there's kind of no... Yeah, you get we're getting the extra half a month of, of lead-in time. So... It's going to be an accurate Worlds. It's going to be the best deck will be at Worlds. Yeah. No, I mean... Best deck. Depending Snake Eyes is already... Yeah, true. Yeah. Oh, but well, in the, like o- in the OCG, yeah. the um, Snake Eyes has been like supported by the new stuff, the fusion stuff. Yes. But they don't have that. But... It's they can, fine they can still turbo out. Beatrice off, off the old combo, and yeah. then you find your you find your Snake Eyes piece and off to the races. It's still fine and dandy with three Poplar and that whole shenanigans and everything there. Um, I, I did see a thing that was like, guys, you both can't win. They hit on the ban list, and I was like, what do you mean they fucking hit on the ban list? It's like they don't have Necro Queer Princess <laughs> or the other one, yeah, the area leader. And um, I was like, this means very little difference. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah, little. It actually, it actually doesn't matter to them at all. No, like, it's the necro equip is good for like for the version of the combat that we learned, but there was very much the OCG one that is how it got prominence in the first place. We sure, necro equip is great. We don't have the OCG one either, so both are missing. What? Necro equip princess and the Final Fantasy fusion are both missing. So in the OCG for Fiendsmith Sankai, yeah. they also play. That like Final Fantasy looking fucking motherfucker. Yeah. Um, because it's a tuner that then makes them lets them make Baron in their combo. Huh. So they also have a card that's missing for that com- that I mean, stuff. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's still very possible and in my mind likely that U Bell is the best deck. Oh, U Bell is still the world. best. Deck. It's U Bell. It's hands down U Bell. Or watch. it's Tempai. Yeah, watch Tempai get it. Field spell. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, U Bell so... beats Tempai. So like. Yeah. Uh, for the most part, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's going to be my vote for world's winner, uh, is Yubel, as Bragg likes to pronounce it. I'll go out and women say Tempai, just to be different. Yeah, you say Yubel. I say Yubel. I say Yubel. It is Yubel, isn't it? Yes, yeah, that's Yubel. how it's said in the it's show. It's just a little Yubel. <laughs> it's the Yubel. Yeah, it doesn't have double L on the end. I'm not saying Yubel. Yeah, it's Yubel. Anyway, um, are there any other notable hits? I don't really want to read through this whole thing to find out. No. Um, um, uh, some of the time cards, are, like some of the... Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. They had, did yeah, get so a they're back to doing a lot that. of those. Sprite's dead because cool. isn't it totally awesome? We're playing this at Locals? Yep. Cool. Next Sunday, it is... Next Sunday? Next Sunday. Next Sunday is World Championship, I believe. No, yes. it's the Sunday after. It's the Sunday after. Apologies. Sunday after. Hmm. <laughs> the fact is nearly, like... I mean, he's right. He do be right. Yeah. Um, no, hold on. Wasn't it on the 7th and 8th? Yeah, yeah, yeah Sunday, Sunday after. Yeah, yeah. I keep getting mixed up with having two consecutively busy Sundays. Oh, no. I've got a job. Oh, well. Oh, no. Shafar is still limited in the, <laughs> on the world's list. <laughs> Basically means I just play my current list without the necro quit. <laughs> Unchained name when it rolls. Woo! <laughs> Fine. Yeah, Aren't look. they missing both? Shavara and Atara? What? They're missing Shavara they're and Atara. Atara they? Why have they been missing Atara? Because that's limited in the OCG. Is it? I believe so. Limited in the OCG? I think so. I want to see the no? heartbreak in real time. No. Okay. No. For some reason I thought they have both hit. No, I would be very oh, it's, it's just Rescue Ways that gets fucked like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah. Emergency and Airlift are limited. Yeah, but Unchained didn't do anything in the OCG until Yubel. No one gave a fuck about it. Because True. it's like, oh, you're special summoning like 17 times to end on two disruptions. I'm going to drop a Max C. This is my Max C. <laughs> this is my bug. <laughs> um, do you like cockroaches? <laughs> I scoop I'm going to drop a Max C today on Master Jewel. <laughs> Oh yeah, there are some hands where I'm like, I'm not special summoning seven times to end on fucking nothing. Oh, on to the next. It's not worth the time. That's why I appreciate when people drop it in the draw phase so I can save my time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, moving on to some other news, however. Um, we have... Where are we? 
Uh, the last support card announced for the crossover breakers, uh, this being the Malice White Binder. Uh, regrettably, it is not a link one, as Bragg and predicted. The TCG name or the OCG name you just said? Can't tell. We'll get to that. Uh, Are so, we? <laughs> uh, yeah, not a link one, oh, as going. Bragg had um, hoped for. Uh, but it's not to say that it won't get one in the Supreme Darkness, you never know. Uh, so, uh, two plus monsters including a Malice, uh, if this card is special summon, target up to three cards in the graveyards and banish them. Uh, during the main phase, set one Malice trap from your deck or graveyard. Uh, and then if this card becomes banished, pay 900, special summon it and draw a card. So good. So you make this off IP? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you can make it off IP. It gets you a triple banish. It says special summon, it doesn't say link summon, right? So you, don't, you, can, do your, you can do the banish your three traps and to set up in your turn. Yep. And then just banish it off turn special summon. Yeah, just have it sitting in graveyards. So you don't need to IP into it. You can already launch it out and then just go, oh, find a way to off turn banish. That's neat. You could SP banish it. Is it once per turn or is it whenever it's special summoned? Uh, Well, I mean, all of the effects are once per turn. But, very, yeah, pretty good card. How many cards do you need to clear from the graveyard? Three yours, three theirs. Yeah, that's that's why I was looking for Dark Fluid. It's just so easy now. Yeah, in the um, the OCG list have started to come out from like the week of the set release, and Dark Fluid's in like every deck. Yeah, <laughs> I need to find mine. I think I had it for Ignister at one point, but it just did not fit in that deck at all. I have mine. I know exactly where it is. But will I play this deck? Probably not, because everyone else is going to be playing it. Yeah, it's there is going to be a lot of us playing this deck. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to be citing my Gizmak, whichever one it is that outs it. Which one outs it? The one that special summons itself by removing a card from the extra monster zone. I mean, it doesn't exactly do that, but... Oh, I don't sure, know, it has off. something to do with the extra monster zone, <laughs> I don't... I mean, I'll be very glad if that car becomes relevant, because I bought them, like, at the time where they were relevant, so not super expensive, but, like, not super cheap. That was relevant and then for they... something. Salomon Grey. That's it. Yeah. Um, but, also, for the TCG, we have the names fully announced, uh, or rather the translations having been announced... Uh, so, uh, Ryzeal becomes Ryzeal. Shocking. Uh, the, uh... Ryuge becomes Ryuge. The, the Steve deck becomes Ryuge. Yeah. Uh, oh, damn, they're renamed Steve. Or because they've got that little dash in there, is it Ryuge? It's trying to get sued? Well, it's, it's meant to... I mean, I think it's Ryuge, but... I mean, it could be... Uh, Steve. I don't really want to try saying that. Neither Ryuge. do I. <laughs> um, and then, interestingly enough... Oh, actually, I need to address the last bit before I go into that. Um, so, Malice with an upside down A has now become Malice with a right side up A, uh, but double S instead of ICE. Apparently, there's an old 80s German film based on Alice in Wonderland called With This Exact Spelling. Ah, yes, targeting the audience of Yu Gi Oh players, people uh, that watched 80s movies. Yeah, it's a horror or something. Okay. I thought Jake was going to go a different direction with that. I thought he was going to make a Nazi joke. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Um, I don't particularly like this uh, name change because it's purely phonetic. I don't like it. Seems fine to me. I have absolutely no issues with it's, this. It's the exact pronounce. It's the same pronunciation. Just That's what I'm saying, but it just doesn't look right. Oh, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it looks terrible. Like, it removes any semblance of its connection to the Alice storyline by making it double S. Unless you happen to know this niche German fucking horror movie... Duh. <laughs> yeah, the uh, double S is problematic, isn't it? Oh. Mm. Uh, moving on. Um, so, um, Fuck you, your organization. So, uh, in terms of the rarity breakdown, it is well, seemingly a little bit different to uh, what they used to be. So, yes. we've got 10 ultras, 10 supers, and 40 rares. Half of these also available as super upgrades. I watched John Moore's video where he absolutely bitched to the fucking moon about this, and I was like, I don't have an issue with this at all. Who's John Moore? House of Champs. Oh. No, raw. He uh, was like, oh, this will make supers harder to pull. And I was like, yeah, sure. Right. <laughs> I, I'd rather this than oh. instead having a bunch of 10 cent super rares. Oh, the rares become super rare. Damn. I think his complaint was that the 10 super rares don't appear in another rarity, so it's hard to get those 10, 10 super rares. Yeah. I still don't have an issue with this. Like, 
Yeah, I, th- I think it's given fine. The, to get the like. There's probably going to be three different Malice Ultras, maybe five different Malice Ultras. To get the play sets of those you're going to need, you're going to already have to have opened four boxes. Yeah. You're going to have the supers you need. Settle the fuck down. <laughs> Uh, and then, because we are still in the uh, third financial year of the 25th anniversary, we are still getting 15 collector's rares. Because we haven't had the Bonanza yet. Uh, and then additional cards also available as quarter century rares. Um, although they haven't dictated how many are going to be allocated as Last quarter time century. It was one. Yeah, the, those boxes usually have one, right? Yeah, so Christia. this one says plus additional cards. Oh, uh, well. So there's potentially going to be more. Well, Probably of... just the entire extra deck of Malice. <laughs> Shifter. Oh, please no. I Give it another reprint. I, I don't... As much as it supports this deck, I do not want Shifter to still be a thing by the time we get this. I do not. Imagine oh, if I it's the, like the idea of the keeping the deck alive. I like the idea of banishing the stuff you already have in Graveyard. That's like, what I mean. Like, that. it makes it way less interesting as a deck because you can't you're play just... on the Shifter version, actually. You can. Yeah, no. Uh, it's, they still it, are in the OCG. It's, it's a it's a shit climb though. They just have other lines to go into. Yeah. I think. Not optimal though. Yeah. Yeah. Ban shifter. Take the decision out of my hands, please. Yeah, it becomes a far more interesting cybersy kind of line if you keep it as like, like even if you just whack a dimensional fissure on the board after you've done your combo, that's mm. fine. That's whatever. But yeah. Anyway, um, so then the set's getting released here on the 6th of December. Merry Christmas, Charlie Manson. Wait, what was... <laughs> um, no, I was about to... That doesn't make any sense. Um, did it... mm. <laughs> on that, when's Bonanza? Uh, ooh. November 14th. Look, he's bullshitting, but I'm sure that's right. <clears throat> it's not right. <laughs> uh... That means, yeah, this po- this should be the last with the quarter century rares. Let's see. Oh yeah, true. This is releasing after Bonanza. Um, just doing a quick double check. Um, the release, yeah, it's the sixth of November. You were close. So we get Bonanza. I was interested. Then, I got close to just guessing a Friday. Hmm. Knows the day of every Friday. Yeah. This man likes his games. Got to get crazy on Friday. Under the lights. I don't need that. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so, in the oh, upcoming the um, Rage of the Abyss set, uh, we have our first uh, card announced for the second run of the Mimigool support. Ben mm. will be very excited. This card's a one-off. It's... Oh, yeah. I mean, it's searchable. The more um, area, the more mid it is. <laughs> so, once per chain during the main phase, if a Mimigool monster your opponent controls is flip face up, Randomly choose one face down card in your opponent's extra deck, and if it is a monster that can be special summoned, special summoned to your field, but it cannot activate its effects this turn. If it wasn't or couldn't be special summoned, banish that card. Uh, you can only use it twice per turn. It's pretty mid. I don't hate it though. Yeah, like, it's a win more card. Like, by all means, if you can steal your opponent's good shit and then keep it around until next turn, fantastic. Um, but, like, what are you going to do? Steal an Appaloosa for zero attack? <laughs> good. And then you link like, the Appaloosa and the um, Mimigool you just got of one to uh, Close Moon and then summon Requiem. And... The, the <laughs> issue here is that you've had to open Archfiend and the spell and another Mimigool. No, I reckon you're making it harder than it needs to be. Swords are revealing light. Yeah. Sure. Sure. You just have to be adventurous, Ben. Um, but it does um, also hint in the it's artwork really of an upcoming monster, uh, which is a, a whammon of some sort, um, that is uh, in love with the Mimigul Archfiend. Or is Mimigul Archfiend in love with her? I mean, there's lots of love hearts going around, so po- potentially both. Is this going to be a Link? Is this a Link 1? Link 1. Link 1. Uh, Mimigul Link why? 1. Why would they do that? Mm. Drunken. That can flip face down. Just the ones that you have just re puts them back to your opponent's field face down. If a mimic leaves your field, special summon it to your opponent's side of the field in face down defense position. Yep. Oh god. But I'm keen to see what else they do with the archetype. Please, for the love of Christ, do not give them a fusion card. Do not. Oh, they get one. 
it's just so lazy. Fusion monster. And it'll be contact. That as sets well. itself to your opponent's field. Yeah. So Does it contact fuse with your opponent's face down cards? It's like, I know what it is. Let me fuse with it. Yeah, me. I put it there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we get a, a hint, I should say, of the upcoming V Jump promo. Uh, so this is called Dragolitha Kunzite. It's going to be great in Tempo. Uh, what do you so. It? The card supports normal monsters. It's a fantastic match with Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's a level 8 Earth Dragon, seemingly. <laughs> Earth, Earth Dragon? Yeah. Um, if it's if, not a level 1 spellcaster, it's not a good match with Blue Eyes. If nothing else, I think it could be good support for that like Rock Dragon archetype that's coming out. Dragon Rules? That has like 17 billion spells and traps and like one monster related to it. Dragon Rules. It's not Dragon Rules. Stop saying Dragon Rules. <laughs> No, um, it got announced a while back. It's in Rage of the Abyss. It has like one level six earth dragon, but the whole archetype oh, revolves around yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, it's, just it's, remember what it's called. Yeah, it Carry out the... dragons. Carry out. Um, yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> normal, <laughs> Help normal, me out here. No, normal monster support like straight out deletes itself in my brain. I mean, there's nothing Except wrong for with Birthright. It. I remember that card. <laughs> for some reason. I bring back blue eyes, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and swing of memories, alone in the moonlight. White elephant's gift. That's a great card. I wish that came up that's more. The, that's the draw one. That's yeah. the draw yeah. one. Only really ever gets played in Exodia. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, the tins have um... oh, gadgets. Yeah. The tins have gadgets. Uh, the tins have those alt art um, spells. <laughs> that we kind of already knew already. Please mail your gadgets to. I'm not going to give away. My <laughs> we, we, need a, we need a PO box. We need a PO box, but send them the good games, wool and gold. Please. Yeah, Ben needs QCR gadgets for our once a month Edison thing. Also, not that they will, but if um, Dimensional Alchemist happens to get reprinted in there, I'd also like really like those. Better. What I hope it's in Bonanza bonanza? at the very least. But that's so far away. But also, we only play once a month, so it's not like I'm in desperate need for them. You don't um, like your commons? Hmm? You don't like your commons? No, I love my commons. It's gold rare as well, wasn't it? No. The shit gold rare. I don't think he gave me that one. I think no, I got, got, no, I didn't give you that one, because I don't even have them. Oh. Yeah, I no. I pulled so many Dark Vision girls from that set, and not the Alchemist. I'm like, oh. Which gold sets are from? Premium gold, so that's six? It was after Haunted Mine. Oh, Okay. I might have some of those somewhere. I've just never considered to dig for them. Fair enough. Um, but that uh, brings us on to our Discord. If you weren't aware, link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. And our first one this week comes to us from 6R6. What is your favourite movie of all time? Paddington 2. <laughs> End of discussion. It still is The Dark Knight. But the more time goes on, the more I, like, I'm getting old and over shit. And nah, it's probably still my favourite movie. I've seen it 13 times in cinemas. Yeah, get close. That's Knuckles with a capital N. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to do that. How about you? Uh, for me, because I, I read this question quite a while ago, it's between two for me and they're like very much either end of the spectrum. Mm. It's either Kill Bill Volume 1 or Treasure Planet. I don't, I don't. I thought you were going to say Shark Tale. I'm not going to jump down in for Treasure Planet, but. <laughs> no, that movie was fucking trash. <laughs> yeah. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's not a good vibe. <laughs> uh, Shawshank's up there. That's cl like, that's a. That's a great movie. classic movie. I just wouldn't put it on my list of favourites. Like, Godfather, I could watch almost every week. Really? I don't know. There's just something. It's just like heroin. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, yeah, you, just illicit. You just drugs. sit there and you just go, yeah, I'm watching stereotypes. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question from Six I Six. What is the C for G mascot, and when will there be a plushie of it? I've been thinking. I mean, so it can't be cowboy because he's. He's weird looking. But we have to have something with the cowboy hat. Nominations are available. It's a little air conditioner with a cowboy hat on top. Mr. Noisy Aircon. Yeah. 
It's not a very cowboy name, though, is it, Noisy? Yeah, we should give him a hat. He needs a hat. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. I should have got one of those Swifty hats when I had the chance. Oh. What are the, what are the new Yu-Gi-Oh cards doesn't. have a cowboy hat? There's one of the coin flip cards, I'm sure. Cowboy hat. Cowboy hat Karibo <laughs> when. Yeah. <laughs> My cowboy Karibo. Trying to work out. Curry boy. Can, I was going to say. I was, I was in that realm. I was trying to figure out how to make. Cow Rebo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then final question. Um, it's going to be. Let's share the Exodia poster with us now because there's been enough of the thumbnails. Yeah, it's been there for two years now. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can't be Daryl. Can't be Daryl. Daryl's never been on the podcast. Daryl. Oh, the weird cat thing. Yeah, Daryl. Yeah, he's all right. He's fine over there. Um, last question, uh, very quickly. Caleb asks, can I have a Vanquished Soul Circular? <laughs> no. <laughs> Your archetype doesn't have enough women oh. in it, therefore it doesn't get support. Circular's yeah. never coming back. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> never. Shit's fucked. <laughs> never yes. again. It's wild that it stayed around for as long as it did. Like, because it was kind of like, Cyber's people loved it, obviously, but then people kind of realised, oh, it does. It just doesn't lock you. Mm. You can just kind of play it. Yeah. It only got banned because Josh Bushman asked for it to be banned. Yeah, that's all right. He's high up enough that he can ask these things. Can when you, you get high up enough, you can buy in... Actually, there's a good question Not to extend this to uh, use podcast the right out. Name for um, if yeah, whatever. Um, if you were to ask like for a custom card to either be banned or unbanned your your choice of the existing card pool what would it be i would offer my selection up to jerome because he's wise and makes the correct decisions the tie that he decides to wear speaks otherwise but correct decisions (laughs) he really wants those product releases last turn Bring it back. <laughs> oh my god. What's it going to do? <laughs> so many things. Self-destruct button? Oh, this no. self-destruct button can get too loose too quick. Because you win the game the drawer one. after three. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that why was, that's why it was originally banned. Is because in the rules at the time, there had to be a winner. Yeah. You're not allowed to. So you would effectively just you draw with your yeah. opponent for 40 minutes. Yeah, and then... And then side in all your burn cards. Mm. Yeah. Oh, what card would I bring back? Or better yet, what card would I ban? I think just to watch the world burn a little bit, I would ban Ash Blossom. Okay, sure. And just watch everyone that bought the $300 QCRs just fucking die a little. Meanwhile, Jake's just sitting here getting FTK'd left, right, and center, and he's like, why don't I have enough cards to stop this? There's so many I can't other... play Dominus Purge. Ah. There's so many other hand traps now that losing Ash wouldn't be that bad. Doesn't At Ash... the very least, they'll be able to play fucking Brandon without wanting to die. Gets purged. Uh, Ash feels like sack armor, though. Like, it's just a trap that you have to have in your deck because at some point you're going to need to use it. Yeah. Like, yeah, like there was points in the early parts of the Snake Eyes format where I was not playing Ash because I'm like, if I Ash them, I've then given them an extender to keep going. But it's, it's not, it's not Ash OP or anything, it's, it's just a card you have to run. When Ash sends to someone from deck, that's when you Ash them. Yeah, no, that's where I usually did Ash them. Yeah. And it confused the hell out of that guy in the winner card because I Ashed him at that point. And he's like, oh, that's a weird time to Ash Blossom. I'm like, no, no that's the not. correct <laughs> time because now you don't have materials on board to make a heater to take my shit. Yeah. Yeah, no, leave Ash. You're you're mental. Nah, I want to see everyone that spent three hundred dollars on QCRs cry. Well, hit. I don't know how I'm going to get to you here. I got nothing. <laughs> I'm spread too wide these days. <laughs> you can't attack me now. <laughs> I'm too powerful. <laughs> I have the high ground. He's spread too wide. Don't know. Don't breathe into it. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you're listening, feel free to favourite, jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week when the ban list comes in. Peace. Bye.